ILGA has produced a mammoth of data, this database will present an opportunity to see the gaps and to begin to strategize how our organization might address those gaps. I think what's really exciting about the database is the opportunity for activists to identify and analyze trends around the world um, which are most relevant to what courts or governments in their own countries um, would look to. I think it can be a very powerful tool to compare to other legislations which could serve as either good or bad examples. When you don't have data, people may not realize that there are trends happening that you want to jump on and accelerate. Esta legislación comparada también se pueden ver mejores experiencias. En qué lugar quedan los países del sur global en ese diálogo. Having this kind of data allows people in the LGBTI movement to go to large institutions and say, look at what happened only in the past five years that they might not realize. I definitely believe the existence of the database would be useful for all of us, especially within the region that I represent in the Pacific. It will also allow us to also make comparisons and of course make uh, references to best practices. And compared with the, some specific area or specific countries, I think that really opens up new advocacy strategies to advance LGBTQ rights across different domestic contexts.